dear colleagues for soft cataracts i don't try to chop the nucleus nowadays i prefer the karate chop or the lens salute technique described by dr kk mehta uh, long ago this is a soft cataract grade 2 or grade 1 plus nucleus sclerosis says posterior subcapsular cataract in this case main incision and two side ports have been made now an air bubble has been injected into the antechamber and tripan blue dye is being used to do capsulorexis this is actually for demonstration of capsulorexis this can be done this rexis can be done without staining the capsule now viscoelastic substance is injected into the antechamber this is 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose now capsulorexis is to be done i use a 26 gauge disposable bent cystidum to raise a flap of the anti capsule in this way incise the capsule and raise a flap I use a uh, uterator forceps to hold the flap and make a continuous curvilinear capsulorexis in this way. This is how a capsulorexis, I think, is the simplest technique. We can use 26 gauge disposable needle, but the control of movement with uterator is much better however in cases of uh, in cases with very shallow antechamber when the patient is not very cooperative we may have to use a disposable cystidome a needle to do capsulorexis hydrodissection has been done and now i am trying to tilt the nucleus we didn't till nicely but I am going to uh, introduce the tip of the FACO handpiece anyway. Here it goes. In the bevel down position, it is the equator of the lens is lifted, the equator which was between 3 o'clock and 6 o'clock is healed and it is pulled towards the center and I start emulsifying it and the whole nucleus is removed in no time. This is a piece of epinucleus lying there at 7 o'clock. That's it. Now some cortical matter is there viscoelastic substance is again injected and a 23 gauge direct Simcoe cannula is used to remove most of the viscoelastic substance this is the left eye of the patient and it was difficult to introduce the and introduce the Simco through the 8 o'clock side port so I have I am using the bimanual irrigation aspiration to remove the cortical matter from 12 and 12.30 12 o'clock now viscoelastic substance is injected into the antechamber and a hydrophobic acrylic intraocular lens is implanted in the capsular bag. Thorough wash of the viscoelastic substance is needed so that we don't have post-operative rise of intraocular pressure. Bimanual irrigation aspiration is being used to remove the viscoelastic substance. I go behind the eye well and flush the viscoelastic substance from behind the eye well. 
now the side ports are hydrated and the interchamber is nicely formed I use 23 gauge Simcoe in this way to form the interchamber thank you very much for watching